controls the flow of air into an organ's pipes, he designed a similar mechanism to control the flow of seeds into the soil. We've used Jethro's own drawings to build a replica of his invention, the world's first farming machine, the seed drill. It took Jethro a few years to get his seed drill working perfectly. But once he did, he put it to good use right here at Prosperous Farm in Berkshire. The seed drill does three jobs at once. Three small ploughs dig precise channels which are supplied with seeds from the containers above. A harrow at the back neatly covers the seeds with soil. The key part of Jethro's machine is right here underneath the hopper on this axle going across. And this was where he took his inspiration from the organ, the way that the keys let the air into the pipes. Only this time we're letting the grain into the ground. I've got a cutaway version, let me show you. The grain's going to drop into that hole there, and then, let me put a bit in, and I can show you, and as the axle turns, it'll come out the bottom in little dribbles, and you can see how it works. You'll see there are little notches cut on the axle. And every sixth of a turn, one of those notches comes round and drops out one more little dribble of grain. And so it forms neatly into the drill in the ground. Jethro's scientific approach gave an amazing boost to Prosperous Farm. Eventually, even the most die-hard farmers followed his new ways. It was the start of modern agriculture.